Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining. We're going to get we're going to wait just a couple seconds here to let everybody uh, join in. Appreciate you watching. We'll just let everybody kind of log in before we get started. Okay, welcome to another episode of the Outdoor Home Stay at Home live cooking demonstration. So we're live from our backyard uh, with this series. We're doing this every day. We're coming to you at one o'clock with a live presentation of something that we're cooking with the idea that just because we have to stay home doesn't mean we have to stay inside. So during these times, what a great time to get out when the weather is beautiful, uh, get outside and try something new on the grill. Just imagine, as we keep saying, if you try something new every 30 days, imagine how many different things you'll have in your arsenal at the end of it. So tonight is one of my favorites that we're gonna do. Um, I love Mexican food. So tonight we're doing chicken fajitas. I also love cooking. This is probably my favorite thing to cook on in the Big Green Egg, which is the wok. It's just, you'll see, it's just so much fun and maybe I have too much fun. Uh, so we'll get started. I've got our egg here cruising at 450 degrees and I'm actually going to open that up a little bit and put the wok in so we can start heating that. You can kind of see I've got the coals in there. Uh, these are the shovels. We'll use those in a second. But So you can kind of tell I've had plenty of uses out of this. I've had this for I don't know how many years. Um, Big Green Egg actually offers a version of this wok now as well that goes with their um, egg expander system like so. So you could put this in and their wok would actually fit right down inside that inner ring. Uh, this wok is much bigger and these have been around for a long time. I've had this a long time. So this one is actually designed to fit right down inside the egg. So I'm just going to kind of line it up and drop it down inside. Uh, that fits kind of snug. What I like about these is I can control the airflow still below um, and regulate the temperature a little bit. So I'm going to let that start heating up. A little bit of vegetable oil. We want that to start warming up, and with that draft door open, it's gonna it's gonna take off here here pretty quick. Uh, while that's going, let's jump over here. We're gonna use this one tonight as well. So just to demonstrate how easy and fast and clean the lighting process is, uh, we're gonna use this one tonight too. So I've got these little fire starter sticks. I actually took and broke one in half and broke it in half again on this little guy here. Because it's a smaller egg, I really, normally I would just use half of one of those, but you can break it in half again on this one. I'm gonna light in a couple spots. Okay, and I'll give those just a couple seconds to make sure that the whole fire stick gets going. Our oil is heating up here. Uh, some of the ingredients I'll just show, we've got our onions, uh, two different colors of peppers ready to go. So as I mentioned in previous classes, get all this stuff done ahead of time if you can so that you're not running in and hopefully we have everything out here. It looks like we do. Got some fresh garlic. Uh, we've got our chicken pieces that are cut up. Our seasoning we're gonna use tonight on the fajitas. We're doing hardcore carnivores michelada. I've been dying to try this one. Uh, tried it at the store, but not actually cooked on anything. And every time I've tried it, it's got lime uh, and garlic and stuff in it. And every time I try it, I think, man, that's, that's fajitas. I need that. And then we've got our, this is our sizzle sauce that you'll see at the end when we actually turn it into kind of restaurant style fajitas. That is a mixture of vegetable oil, water, and just a little bit of soy sauce. Okay, so we're gonna get started. We got things cooking here. Let's make sure this is... So all I'm gonna do now, I've got those fire stirs going. My draft door is open. I'm just gonna pull a little bit of this charcoal over the top. Uh, just to give it a little bit of charcoal to cook there. And you could probably skip that step and it would work fine. It's just have it. I'm gonna put that in place. Bottom draft door is open. 
I'm gonna shut this, slide the regulator cap open all the way, and that'll take probably five to 10 minutes. So we'll get started over here while that's cranking up. Uh, and you might be asking, could you do all this on one egg? Absolutely, you could. Um, I'm, going, I'm going to do the tortillas on here. I like to grill the tortillas. And then I'm also gonna heat up the skillet. So we could, we could do this all on one, uh, but I'm always looking for a reason to fire up. And if I'm being honest, if you're watching, and maybe your spouse is watching, I'm trying to demonstrate how you need more than one. So maybe if you've always wished for a second or a third or a fourth big green egg, I'm trying to help you out here. So let's get the veggies going. You want to be careful that you don't splash in the actual oil. And I start with the vegetables first. Kind of cut them through that oil. Beautiful thing about doing this outside with the wok. It gets a lot more heat than you would ever have inside uh, trying to do it on the stove top and there's no mess at all. I'm going to do a little bit of kosher salt. I've got garlic here. I'm going to take about half of it and I'm going to use the other half on the chicken. These are known as shovels, a must have uh, when you do the walk. And if I'm being honest, two of them is a must have. I think it's, otherwise you don't know what to do with the other hand. You want to play with this is just so much fun to get both of them going. If you're doing, obviously, if you're doing a stir fry, you can start flipping stuff in the air and just kind of incorporate that a little bit. Let those cook. That bowl gives us a good place for the shovel. Preheat in here. Let's see what else can we. I'm trying to think what else we can. Uh, we've mentioned several times if you see anything, see anything at all. Uh, we've got different different ways to shop now, of course. We're trying to stay safe in these times, so if you see something, maybe you think, hey, that's pretty cool in that walk, but you don't want to come to the store, uh, we can bring it to you. We're offering delivery throughout the entire Springfield and surrounding area on everything, not just grills. So call us, we'll bring it to you. Maybe you want to get out of the house right now, but you don't want to come inside the store, give us a call, we can do curbside pickup. Uh, and very soon you'll actually see, we can do a private appointment in the store, we've been doing that. And you're also gonna see very soon, you can call the store now and do a virtual appointment where maybe you wanna kinda of see this in action or take another close look at it, all different angles. Just give us a call at the store, we'll go virtual, we'll take the camera and go show you exactly what you need to see. And we can close the lid on this too. Sometimes you get, well, there's also a, uh, a lid I've never purchased before, but you can actually steam these. It'll speed the process up. I don't have that, but we could use that as well. Uh, the ring, this will come in handy once we get done. You can actually place it when it comes off scorching hot on something. If you have questions, you can put them in the comments or just type them in. We can't answer them while we're actually in the cooking, but we will definitely, even days after, answer any questions that you have about the process. If I wanted to control temperature here, uh, I've even used the wok before to fry, where you can actually fill it up with peanut oil. And we've done fried chicken, we've made general chicken. By controlling the airflow down here, I can actually kind of regulate. You want to watch your temperature real close so you don't hit that flash point, but you can even fill it up with oil if you watch it close and fry. As you can see, the shovels are a lot of fun. I like to push the veggies up on the, the whole, all the sides of this all get hot, so I like to kind of incorporate those up on the sides. Okay, and we're cranking over here, so I don't know, I didn't look at the time. 450 degrees and climbing. I'm gonna wait just a little bit before I do the tortillas, because I want those to be warm when it's time for dinner, so. That's actually way ahead now, we're at 500 degrees. That's, that's a little faster than I needed. I probably could have waited a few minutes. So we'll damper that down and let that cruise while my veggies are still cooking. And again, if you just tuned in, we're live doing our outdoor home, stay at home live cooking demonstration, live from our backyard. 
And tonight we're doing chicken fajitas on the big green egg in the wok. I'm pretty excited about this stuff. I'm going to add a little bit of this too. Because I've been dying to try this. We might as well get it on the veggies as well. Let everybody on the camera take a look. We'll try and maybe do a virtual bite again tonight. I don't know if that works on the steak when we did the steak class. really a pretty quick cook on this as well probably takes just as much or more time on the prep than it does to actually cook the meal we're getting pretty close there just I like to see the onions. I'm not a big onion fan, so I like to see those cooked way down. <laughs> people that know me know that for a fact. And then the peppers, I like them fairly soft, but I'd say most people would say, just pull that off, we're done. I'm getting the evil eye right now to pull them off. I think they're done. Honestly, I kind of pick around the peppers and I'm a very picky eater. But I like the flavors. The flavors are still gonna be incorporated in the whole dish. And it sure is fun to make. All right, these work great too. Is use your shovel to you get quite a bit out of there. You can do different methods. You don't have to use a wok. You can use a cast iron skillet. Uh, I've done this before where I grill the chicken. If I do steak, like plank steak, I would definitely probably incorporate the grill and actually a nice hot steak and then slice it and put it over the top of the fajitas. I like to cook the vegetables first, get those out of the way, so then when the chicken, I'm going to cook the chicken when the chicken's almost done, I can throw the veggies back in there and then we're pretty much finished. Um, I'm going to lower heat just a little bit for the chicken. As opposed to if you cook it all at one time, you may be waiting on the, the veggies may not be done, but the chicken's done. And this way, at least I can control that 100%. Got a hot fire over here for tortillas. I like to grill the tortillas. I'm gonna add a little more vegetable oil for the chicken. We cut this up ahead of time. Yeah, I don't want to put those back in the veggies now after cutting raw chicken, obviously. A little bit of salt. We're going to hit it with our meat gelata. I'm getting the signal to add more. And I think we need a little more. There we go. And then we're going to incorporate the garlic. I'm going to throw a tortilla on we'll both of these at the same time. You don't want to overdo it here, but you definitely need to have a little bit of keep it from sticking to the sides of the wok.
if you push that chicken up on the sides, you can kind of cook it all evenly. Nice thing about these is it gets hot all across the outside of that. These do not take long. Michelada. Wish you could smell it. it. Smells pretty amazing. And again, that's hardcore carnivore. We have it at the store. If you can't get out, call. We'll bring it to you. Keep turning the chicken so we're hitting it all the way, cooking it all the way through and getting all the sides. You can still see some raw chicken there. close on the chicken. Once we get a little closer, I'll add the veggies and incorporate those back in. Those up so they stay warm. Throw them on the dinner table. This is not necessary, but it's sure fun. You definitely want to use these when you take them off. I find if I use them, put them on, sometimes I'll remember. Okay, you can take the chicken and just kind of take your shovel and if it cuts easy, we're good to go. Drop that back in. Oh, it smells amazing. A little more michelada. Been dying to try this. Here we have the, I think they call these just fajita skillets. I guess you can use them for other things. I've used them for breakfast before. Uh, but these are just small cast iron skillets that come with the wooden 
wooden platter so when it's good and hot you can set it on this and take it to the table you could certainly you don't have to do that we could build it actually normally we just cook it right out of the wok but a lot of times i like to have a little fun with that this piece is pretty critical if we're going to take that out of the egg and that's the only way to stop it from cooking is to have to get that wok out of there it's going to be very hot and i want those to be very hot might actually put those back in the. Uh... That angle, I'm not sure they're going to get enough. I want those so hot it's not even. They should almost be glowing red. So we're going to have a little bit more heat because it's been cooking for a little bit underneath here. And... our fajitas part. Let them rest for just a second. I want to get the heat on the uh, Get left them in there. We're going to speed this up a little bit. Once I close the bottom end draft, that's going to go out. We'll use that again the next time if we choose to. That water and the oil will separate and the soy sauce a little bit, and then just be careful when you lift that, sometimes you get a little volcano action. Good way to test our heat. That was the one that was in the back. We just want a little more, a little more there. Again, if you have questions, put them in the comments and we'll definitely address them. We're just about done here. Another episode of our stay at home. Stay at home, but don't stay inside. Get outside and cook something. Whatever grill you're cooking on, whether it's a gas grill, pellet grill, big green egg, charcoal grill of any kind, anything. Just get outside. It's just beautiful outside. So get outside and do some cooking outside. We're doing this every day at 1 o'clock. Rain or shine, one of these days we're going to get poured on. But it, won't, it won't hurt us. virtual bite of the camera. That's a little warm. <laughs> I'll take that one. Again, we could go inside and eat right now if it wasn't for the fact I kind of like to make it like they do when they bring it out to you at the restaurant and it's all sizzling. closer to the skillet. That was close. I thought about grabbing it. All right, we're going to get that in place there. This is cooled down enough now so you guys can... Mm-hmm. Without a doubt, Mexican is my favorite type of food. I, if I had to choose one, that's what it would be.
I was kidding, you really don't want to see those glow. <laughs> but you want them good and hot. So another little test. That's what you want to hear. So now it's just the final step of adding our portions. You could do, I don't even know, you could buy as many of those as you want, I suppose, if you had a big group. We don't do that nowadays. And I'm just going to start incorporating these onto the skillets. Actually, I didn't even need to use the, it's got plenty of sizzle going on there. If you pull it off in the ingredients and you don't have all that extra juice, maybe from grilling the chicken or the steak instead, just use that mixture. That was vegetable oil, water, and a little bit of soy sauce, even parts, or just a little bit of soy, not even part on the soy. And then just squirt that around that. It'll take off and start steaming like it is now. Bring this to the plate, shredded cheese, guacamole, the whole nine yards, we're good to go. Thanks again for watching. Be sure, get outside. You don't have to stay inside. Uh, just stay at home, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.